guys, so right now I'm going to be doing this really nice kind of everyday look, but I'm not going to say an everyday routine just because I don't wear this all the time. But yeah, it's a really nice light look and I'm using really pretty kind of uh, brown colors on the eyes with a hint of rose gold and then got that highlight going on. Sorry if I can't talk throughout this video, I'm just not feeling it. And, and let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is obviously wash your face and I just washed mine, which is why I look crazy and you can see like my pimples and stuff but I'm gonna put on some lotion after that and I'm just gonna be using the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion just look like that and not a lot because I have very oily skin so just a tiny little drop like that and I can apply that all over my face okay and next I'm gonna go in with a primer and this is just going to help the makeup stay on, and especially since it's getting slightly warmer, you don't want your makeup sweating off, so I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer, but I need a new one just because this is for dry skin, and again, I have oily skin, but I'm just going to be using a little tiny drop like that, and mostly around my eyes, and then just like three extra around my face. So for eyeshadow base, the thing I like to use is the e.l.f. All Over Color Stick, and it looks like that, and it's a little cream thing, and this is in the shade Permisen. Um, oh, it's uh, Persimmon. Great, okay. But it's a really pretty light pink kind of color, and I'm just going to be using this just all over the eyes as a base, and to give more shimmer. And then I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Needed Nude uh, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using this light color and I'm just going to put this on the inner corners of my eyes and then blend it out to the rest of the lid. Again with another e.l.f. palette, I'm going to be using this one, and this is the Brights um, little palette, and I'm going to be using these two colors. This like nice light coral kind of color, and then this more coral color, and they're not as pigmented, but I kind of like it just to give a nice light pink shimmer. So I'm just going to be using this flat brush and applying this on the lid. And then I'm going to be using the Alme Intense Eye Color in Trio for Blues. And I'm going to go in with the nice bronzy color and you can tell I love this because I hit pan and I'm just going to be using this kind of fat brush from Sonia Kashuk and applying this to the outer corners and not that much just to give more definition. I'm going to be blending it out now because I don't want it to be as dark and just again for a definition. back in with the e.l.f. Need it Nude and I'm going to be using this nice like rose gold pink kind of color and I'm going to be using again that flat brush and apply it um, right here where the bronze is kind of going in with the rest of the colors and this way the colors will be nice and blended and you'll have a hint of a really pretty rose gold. And then I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Concealer Stick in 
light and I'm going to be using an e.l.f. professional concealer brush and I'm just going to apply this all over my face like I usually do. Okay, so I just finished putting on my concealer and now I'm going to go in with my powder and I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Paris Too Much Super Blendable Powder in Warm 4 Natural Beige and I'm just going to be using my tiny little powder brush and just apply it all over my face. And now for the last part, I'm just going to go in with some highlight and this part is optional but I just think that it makes the makeup look so much better and so especially right now since everyone is doing this but I just love the look of like sparkle going on here so I'm just gonna first go in with the elf all over color stick thing and because my face is oily my makeup tends to like kind of like leave my face and just kind of go everywhere and this kind of sets the highlight so that it doesn't go everywhere around and makes it look even more oily than it already is. So I'm just going to use my finger to apply this on the top of the cheekbone and just... And then I personally use a e.l.f. small stipple brush just because it's easier for me to uh, apply my highlight and I actually ran out of my e.l.f. highlights so I actually made my own and it looks like that and I really like this color because it makes a bunch of like blushes and um, light colored eyeshadows and stuff just make the perfect highlight and I'm just gonna apply this on top of the uh, all over color stick so. using my elf kabuki blur brush just to blend it all out so it doesn't look harsh and then I'm gonna go in with my elf liquid liner and align my eyes After I apply my liner, I'm going to curl my lashes and then do my daily mascara thing. And I'll just show you right after I curl my lashes. So the first mascara I use is the CoverGirl The Super Sizer. And I like to use these two mascaras because it makes my lashes look super nice. And I love the wand of this mascara it doesn't clump up your lashes and it kind of separates them okay so then I'm gonna go in with the covergirl full lash bloom and I'm gonna apply this to the top lashes and the bottom lashes So after I apply my mascara, I'm just going to let this kind of dry, I guess, because I don't want my mascara to run since I'm going to be putting on a setting spray. Before I put on my setting spray, I'm just going to put on a little bit of lip balm so that my lips aren't chapped and I'm going to be using my Strawberry US Lip... Oh, I can't talk tonight, I'm sorry. My Strawberry EOS Lip Balm. Now I'm just going to use my NYX matte finish long-lasting spray and I love this stuff so now okay so now you can put on any lipstick or lip gloss or anything but I'm just gonna be using the Victoria's Secret uh, Beauty Rush lip gloss in Strawberry Fizz <music> so 
So this is the finished look and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm calling this look an everyday makeup tutorial, not an everyday routine because for my makeup I kind of do any random thing. Some days I'll like use contour and all that crazy stuff and then some days I won't wear any face makeup or I'll do something like this or I'll do like browns and purples and pinks and all that kind of crazy stuff. So I don't really have a routine, but I just wanted to show you guys this like light kind of makeup that you can do, especially now that it's getting warmer when you don't want to wear too much makeup. And this is kind of a lot of makeup, but you can like lower some of the products. Like um, I don't use foundation right now, but like if you were to go out, you could use foundation or you could just like skip out on the highlight and all that stuff and just use like powder. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this look and I will see you next time. Adios!